Hey guys, what's up? It's Cole. And so I've been playing the Diablo 4 release for quite a bit and I have landed on a Druid build that is just absolutely so bonkers that I want to talk about it. I should say in this video I'm going to be trying pretty hard to avoid spoilers. I'm almost done the story at the time of recording this video, not quite done it yet. And yeah, it's really good story. That's all I'm going to say for now. But this build, as soon as I tried it, I'm like, this is crazy. So kind of my initial plan was going in with really heavy emphasis on companions build. Try and hopefully get them into werewolves. Never got that, unfortunately, or at least not yet. But this one legendary dropped, and what it does is it makes Pulverize basically go in front of you and do a whole ton of damage. And this actually covers the entire freaking room. Like when we're talking about clearing the room legendaries, this is it. And I remember I was on Twitter, I'm like, wait, what the heck? This is insane. And so what I did was originally I was like doing like a tornado with wolves build and I immediately pivoted to let's go all in and let's see what Pulverize can actually do and it's been sweet. So for this build, I'm going to be starting off by talking about the spirit boons. And so for the deer, I went for just reduced damage from elites. I wanted more critical strike chance because that's going to be pretty universally good. I went for more attack speed because generally speaking you want to really build up a lot of spirit because really pulverize is going to be your main spender of energy and it costs quite a bit. The next thing is that dealing damage has more chance to get spirit, kind of that same idea, more spirit, more pul pulverizes. And then Obsidian Slam from Snake, which is every 10th kill will cause your next Earth skill to overpower. And so what that does is that lets us play with other legendaries. So this is the main legendary, the Shockwave Necklace that I was talking about. This is absolutely awesome. And so I paired it with, uh, if, I, if I can find it here, there. So it's going to be this of Earth Sign Horror. And so Pulverize is now an Earth skill and tectonic spikes continue to deal earth damage. And so that's gonna be really amazing and actually is kind of crazy because it opens up all of the earth synergies, which I was super duper happy with. I also got other legendaries to support this, like your core skills deal up to 20% damage based on your fortify, which fortify as we're gonna get into the build later is super duper crazy good. Another one that I got was restore one of your primary resource when you crowd control an enemy. And that goes and plays really nicely with this legendary that I have on my helmet, which is damage from earth skills, slow enemies hit by 25% for 5 seconds. So you're getting a lot of interplay because it's just like crowd control, well that's slow, not to mention all the other crowd controls baked through the kit. And then really when we're looking at abilities, we're going to be starting off just being in bear form as much as possible. This is going to be very important when we're just going around. And Fortify, you can see that we're going to get this modifier here. It's really, really going to be quite decent. And as you can see, Fortify characters take 10% reduced damage. You become fortified uh, when you have more Fortify than current life. And so basically, really, really easy to keep it up with that. We go and obviously get Pulverize, which is the main thing of our skill, absolutely max it out. And yeah, 20% reduced damage. It's nice because it kind of stacks up and it makes you more defensive and more tanky. Like in a lot of ways, you're gonna just see me face tank. Here, I kind of just go into more spirit generation. And then I kind of like switch it a bit and get more damage. I I'm not 100% sure if this is really that much better but I mean objectively 9% trade-off for 15% is like 6% more so I I'm not even sure I'm not fully convinced uh, but earth and bulwark this is just another way to kind of like increase your defenses but more than anything it's this end node where you get fortify uh, I get wolves because I always want wolves and then I went into the thing that gives them the ability to fortify me there's a lot of people who want Vine Creeper, which I think is an absolutely fantastic ability, but I like the wolves. It pads out my health because uh, we'll see later traits that more healthy that I am, like above 80% HP, more damage I deal. That's really important. So they take a little bit of aggro. Love the wolves. I really do hope I get to do a werewolf build. If there weren't wolves in a build that I did, I would be shocked. Um, and we have other passives like Earth skills deal more damage too slowed stunned etc it really stacks up nicely it's kind of bonkers because remember that legendary that makes it slow and pulverizes now a earth skill fortify your earth skills deal 12 percent more damage so 
that's crazy and keeping four to five sub trample is the only mobility skill we really have so there we go um provocation if you stay in this then you're gonna have it overpower and as you can see and i probably should have explained this earlier overpowering just based on your fortify adds more damage and so that's always going to be good i, I kind of just took this to get to provocation and then fortify is considered i'm pu sorry pulverize now is considered a nature magic skill and so it gains benefit from these passives which are just kind of like marginal passive like you heal a little bit you deal a bit more damage it's it, it's fine and then this like ultimate this is one that i kind of overlooked before because i'm like oh are the ultimates that great but no for real this one ultimate is absolutely bonkers i, I don't know what else to say other than this is like the shit this ability is like amazing yeah it's going to restrict you from any other abilities that aren't bear abilities but i can tell you definitely absolutely 100 percent worth it i was so crazy impressed when i started doing it also obviously we go like the path to the fortified and that kind of plays with everything and then you get more maximum life when you're in werebear form it's seriously great and then obviously you see that passive i like alluded to before when you're healthy you deal 30 percent increased damage and so that's another perk of like the wolves because it's just like well yeah i have all the defensives i also don't want my hp to get touched at all and as you can kind of see in the footage even with higher level enemies like I i'm barely getting touched and yeah with that i don't really have too much more to say about this other than it is a powerhouse build i wasn't 100 sure that druid would actually ramp up but i can say I'm just shredding rooms. I uh, there is um, content that requires you to be level 45 that I have very much tackled head first at like level 41. Not much of a problem whatsoever with this build. It's kind of weird though because I'm at the point where I don't even want to upgrade items even if they have better stats just because hey I don't want to give up these legendary powers and so that <laughs> that might be a problem i don't know if that's intentional game design or not but i'm just not upgrading a lot of my pieces because it's just like wow why am i at like level 40 like three or whatever i'm at right now i i i closed the game to record this video uh why am i still using this from like many 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 levels ago it, it's weird it's really weird like i got a unique item like literally called unique that's one step above legendary for those who don't know and i'm like this is an amazing item but it doesn't really flow into my build so yeah i'm i'm really enjoying the game no story spoilers absolutely having fun this is great i'm i'm actually really happy but i really want the werewolf build stuff and like support druids stuff so here's hoping that i can talk more on that later anyhow take care everyone want to have a happy video and have an awesome saturday